all of Mississippi experienced the remnants of Barry, which made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane Saturday morning in Louisiana. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris drove through the state and has more from Rankin County. Barry has dropped several inches of rain throughout the state and rescue crews remain on high alert as they expect the last of Barry to move out throughout the overnight. People in Mississippi are still cautious with Barry sticking around for another day. I've got flashlights, batteries, food, got water. You just never know. Barry is producing heavy rains and tornado warnings for parts of Mississippi. Emergency task forces have been on standby. We're just uh, in a wait and see mode. Uh, I've got uh, Task Force 1 from North Mississippi. The Swift Water team is here, staged here. We're looking at maybe staging some high water vehicles. The rain fell in bands, some harder than others. Randy Bauer is from Monroe, Louisiana, and said Barry wasn't what he expected. It's like it's just raining in spots. It's not, it's not like it's a, a big storm covering you know, a big area. So it looks like it's just kind of more like a big low pressure system or something. Despite of lack of strong winds and consistent heavy rain, the threats remain. If it comes in a short period of time, then yeah, we're going to have roads with water on them and, uh, and some significant stream flooding. Governor Phil Bryan and MEMA toured the state to assess any damage. Now for the Mississippi Pine Belt, Barry has produced a number of flooded roads and tornado warnings. Reporting in Rankin County, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12.